Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. Uh, I went off screen and I turned off the one mod I knew was causing some interference. For some reason, the, the Giddy Up mod, I think it was, the one that adds saddles in and rideable animals was definitely causing issues. Uh, I'm, ass I'm assuming that there's no way of knowing if it was going to work for this trade route because uh, this one was already on the map after when, when that change was made. But what are you going to do? We're doing the best we can with what we got here. Alright, so Hunter Lacks Range Weapon, Gaivin. Let's see, uh, Gaivin here. Bio. You have no shooting ability whatsoever. You should not be assigned to hunting. So, let's see, Gaivin. Hunt. Let's put that on zero. Oh, and all of these just got, I'm just gonna tell them to deconstruct these now. They all got, uh, all, all of the, the Hoositzes that was on them, all the hay on them was harvested, so let's take those down. And we'll replace it with normal growing zone. Very good. We'll have to leave those up, but then what we can do is just grab the grow zone, expand it out. You know what, there might be some limestone uh, flagstone right there. There we go. It's like there's something, must be something on the ground there. So floor, remove floor, bam. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Kind of wonky looking, but it's better than it was. And we're all, <laughs> we're getting these mushrooms growing. Not very fast, but they're growing. I think they'll provide some good sustenance for us. Ideally, what we need to do is have a, a decent amount of food grown by the time summer hits. It's it's so weird. I ha it, it feels so strange to have to use the summer not for growing. But that's what we have to do. Got kibble. And most, th most of this base is going to get left behind. We're going to bring food the finest items we have, like the sleeping bag, some of those sleeping bags, well, let's see, is this a legendary? That one's legendary, that one's masterwork, so we got two really good ones. Definitely enough for everybody to sleep in. Um, and then basically food. And that's it. Everything else gets left behind. Well, it's gonna make the history look very strange, because what's gonna happen is it's gonna be grow, 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 plummet. Grow, 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 plummet. Oh, eat a dick game. I just started recording. Okay, well, we're in a better place to take care of it than the last time we did this. I believe everybody's basically good to go. Lost an eyeball. I mean, the, the problem we're having is, you know, in previous playthroughs I did when people were injured, you just rip out their, goop, their, their bits and uh, you replace them with better bits. We're not doing that here. Yep, we've got lots of weapons. We should be in a good good place to actually be able to take care of this. Um, I think what we'll do is... The sun's just coming up, yeah? Yeah, the sun's just coming up. Everybody's in a pretty good mood. Let's go deal with it. No better time than right now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we just put our people out here. What I do is I space them out one, every other thingy, and then I just put these guys in like that. And then we have, uh, we do with this. What do we got? We got just one, is that it? Alright, and then what I'll do is... You guys just need to move in a little closer so you don't hit your friends. And this thing should be getting carved to pieces. Gaivin. He's got dirt in his eyes. It's, it's like a cannon going off, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Everybody dogpile. Oh, it feels good to be able to, to actually be able to handle these. Curb stomp, bully circle. My god, that thing's taking a beating. 
There we are. And then you five do that. You two go home. Just rip it apart with your bare hands. Please and thank you. Two, that was nice. There we are, all done. All right, so it's 18 degrees in here. Is that temperature gonna remain steady? Or is it gonna plummet? Space Marine medic named Noob is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If he survives the impact, he will be badly wounded. Noob. Um, capable of none. Really good shot. Not a bad character at all. Um, well. Let's send someone out to rescue him. Hmm. I want to keep the temperature up in here. But I would like to have more grow zone. And this provide th th this creates too much light here. Let's... Let's deconstruct this. And then we go ahead and build another one. I'm going to build it right there, though. And what I'll also do is this. All right, we'll do that. And see if that, like, inhibits the light more. Hopefully. I don't know, it seems pretty bright in there still. Food poisoning. Uh, it's probably from an older meal. Boy, what I'd love to have just a steady supply of meat. Wouldn't that be something? Uh, wildlife. There is a mega sloth on the map. Uh, I am going to have both. I'm going to have the whole crew come out here. Because <laughs> this thing could go nuts at any moment. Yup. Oh, those things hurt like a motherfucker if they actually hit you. So yeah, that was a good idea. I should remember to do that in the future. You know, if I'm hunting big dangerous things, actually, you know, send people out there to take care of it. Now we have a huge mega sloth to eat. I mean, it'll provide a decent amount of you know, food. At least in theory, it should. <sighs> Bandit Cap Quest. Outpost guarded by six enemies. Marine armor masterwork worth 4,000. Uh, not gonna go for it. Um, if I was in a much more secure uh, place, if I had a better base set up, with proper defenses and traps and all that kind of stuff, I would definitely do that, but considering we're not doing that. Um, well, part of the reason was is I was planning on moving a lot sooner, so I didn't really start building a base I was planning on living in, which is why I've, I'm stuck with this hideous thing for now. But next time, we'll def we'll basically we'll get to where we're going, and then we'll immediately start building a permanent base. Because if I'm going to be somewhere for four years, I'm going to need better than just temporary lodgings. Everybody's got tattered apparel. Should definitely take care of that, but a lot of it's probably weird stuff. Why are you just sitting out in the middle of nowhere? 
eating pemmican slowly. Yep, no, that's fine. Intense pain. Oh, from the severe food poisoning. Yeah, there you go. No, that tracks. This is fine. Food. Like, real food. Those eggs lasted a while, didn't they? These are not fueled. Do I need to make a second one of these to make sure it's th that we have enough coal? Seems like if was with, with, well, maybe because I was doing a lot of other tasks, maybe that slowed us down in terms of production. Uh, we could also put more than one person on basic one. Do that. That'll make sure things are fueled more regularly. And that that is a mining task. No one's high on mining is the thing. It's basically the thing to do when you don't have anything else to do. I guess that'll have to do for now. How close are these? Oh, those were almost done. Oh, how much rice do we have? 270. Not great, but we're getting there. We're making progress. And we've got pack animals to help us move stuff. Like, j just out of curiosity, I want to see something. Like, if I go here and I say I want to form a caravan. Let's see. Our ponies can carry 70 kilograms worth of stuff. That'll do. I can't slap anything on the dog, though? That's sad. Can't give him a little harness? Yeah, well, it's not my fault you're having a mental break. Striker, if you, uh, one of these days, if you want to come in from the code, that's just fine. But right now, it looks like you're too busy flipping out. What is this? Oh, it's a crossbow. I'm not using that anymore, so no big deal. Part of me is wondering if I should increase the size of the grow zone again. Is there anywhere to tell me, uh, yeah, there is a lightness level. Lit 50. Well, that's free food. Oh, God, that's a lot of food. Oh, there's a whole herd of things over here. Oh, striker. All right, this could be ugly. All right, they're coming. They're, they're, where are they going to come from? Got to figure out where these polar bears are going and come, uh, coming to and going from. Okay, so they're going to be right here. So what we're going to do is just set up right at this side, the side of this uh, this wall. Is that everybody? No, KJ's missing. So that that one flank is covered. Oh, that's that's only it's only four polar bears, but they're fucking polar bears. I'm pretty sure polar bears are the largest bear. Oh, right on his little snoot. Well, it looks like it's on his snoot. Spine. Okay, that's a that's a good that's a good hit. Yeah, Rose is getting eaten by a bear. All right, that's one bear down. by a bear. Don't let him rip your... Okay, I've, I've seen that Leonardo Capri DiCaprio movie. I know you can survive this. Oh, that's two down. Oh, these are terrible. Oh, 
Okay, we're okay. I don't think I need a... a yeah, I'm not going to bother with that right now. Um, the other thing we're going to do is... I didn't even... I just happened to notice there's a whole herd of elk. Alright, doctor... Tend to the wounded. Rose, you got it pretty... Aren't, do they not set the bed rest? No, they're all on... Well, which one Which one has them actually... Patient has them lay down, right? Yeah, there you go. I'll fix that. Is KJ sick? Who's the next best doctor? Striker. Oh, he's already on it. Did you get tended? You're fine. No, I'm on the wrong person. There we go. Rose got eaten pretty good. Bitten on the face. All right, well, we're going to have food for a while. At least meat. Oh, oh more food. Hmm. Is pumpkins? Oranges. All right. I'll take that. Uh, the Cassandra has been really, really bitchy, um, but really nice in terms of giving me food. Like, every single thing has been food-related. Noob joined after being rescued. Well, I didn't see that happening. I didn't anticipate this person actually joining. Um... I guess that's okay. You're a good shot, so... Do I have... Another... I thought I had another, like, one of those smoothbore muskets. I could have sworn I had one, but it may have been, like, degraded, and we so we may have gotten rid of it. I'm going to give you the crossbow. Uh, okay. Uh, noob. Let's see here. We're going to pop into Discord and grab a name off the list. Going to go with... There we go. Noob, you're going to be... Uh, Oh, that's a decent sized colony already. Countdown. There we go. So we have multiple people who can doctor. That is good. Three people with really good doctor skills. I, I'm happy about that because it just makes things a little bit easier when there's horrible, horrible wounds to deal with. Well, these are all growing. It seems like the temperature in here is stabilized. Maybe it was cause, maybe it was too cold outside before for us to really handle it. Yeah, it's only negative 17 now. And we're catching up on cold chunks. Timberwolf Revenge. Oh. Hunting. Well, it looks like one of the elks has been injured. Oh, yeah. At least we'll have meat for a while. Oh, yeah, look at that. Starting to look good in here. There's already two elks in there and two polar bears. That is meat for a while, is what that is. We could tell him to jerk a lot of the meat. If they have enough of it. Hmm. We've got all the human meat laying around, but that's more that's more like backup food. 
That's 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 definitely backup food. We're not out of you know. There's plenty of wood laying around. They're just too lazy to refill the things. Oh no, a lot of the people who are assigned to do it are just, are, are are busted. They're just broken. Bit on the torso, scratched on the leg, jacked up. Uh, Rose got eaten pretty good. The bear definitely chewed her face off. We'll be okay. Those elk are gonna be delicious. They are actually food. It's like the growth rate inside these things is actually a little better in some spots. These, what is the grow time on these? 12 days. Yeah, that's about a few. Huh. That's about a few. I think I th I think we're kind of died from rotting. But that's okay. Oh, no, no, it's this. There we go. I was like, why, why, I was like, why is there a section messed up there? There we go. I did not notice that, but there we go. Okay, this has been turned into kibble. The kibble we could take with us to feed the animals. We're gonna be able. We're gonna have meat for a while, actually. No, oh, that's beautiful. Oh. Okay, rough, rough start because of the uh, just the way this has worked out, but doing doing better. Don't leave the map. Not before I kill you. No, 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 no. Aww. I was, was going to take uh, take control of the character and have him kill the, manually kill the last elk. And then it ran away. But we got the rest of the herd. Oh, so there's that. It's not really anything for me to do with these because I don't need the components. Yeah, on our next base. So the plan is going to be is once, once we get going, I'm basically going to... Um, I'm just going to move as far as we can until we start running low on food, and then I'll, that's where I'll sit down. No, what we could also do is, um, if we start, if there's a more time left in the season, we could stop at a location, uh, and hunt any animals that are there really quickly, turn them into jerky, and then keep going. Um, but once we get near the end of the season, we're going to have to try to leave us enough time to do just a couple days to kind of get a basic base set up. Throw down a barracks and a kitchen kind of thing. Yes, a group is coming by. Hey, Orange, I, a bunch of you just fell from the sky. What's your problem? Minor pain, awful bedroom, disturbed sleep. No, it's just dull. It's not awful. Don't be melodramatic. Striker, do me a favor. See what these people want. What do you What do you have to buy? Medicine, one. They've got some beer, an ironwood spear, and a society tabard. Distinguished friend from foe. The green tabard comes in. Basically, a flag that can be worn. I don't think we need a tabard. Uh, I can maybe get rid of some items. Oh, there's not a lot in here. We sold basically all the, all the bad stuff. Human leather winter cloak. Maybe we get rid of that. There we go. Sell a couple items. That is just a... 
what is it called? A, uh, a menagerie of, of animal carcasses. Is this not on Butcher? Butcher creature forever. Why is nobody butchering anything? You better be smoking that meat. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm sorry, not smoking the meat. They're jerk, they're jerk meats. Hmm. Here, let's uh let's do let's go ahead and do this. Let's take care of this. Oh, they're gonna get me a fair bit of uh, usable leathers too. That's good. Oh that now that's a cooler right there. Lady M's no longer on an insulting spree. Probably for the best. And there we go. Beautiful. Look at that. And just keep hunting all the wildlife that comes by. But we're going to leave this episode right here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you've enjoyed. And I will see you all next time.